Make this recipe with milk and your kids will love it. Hit the like button already, then leave your comments on this recipe. Into a large bowl, start by adding six whole eggs. Then, using a whisk, whisk very well until the yolks fully dissolve in the egg whites. Once you've done that, transfer these beaten eggs into a medium bowl, passing them through a sieve to remove any remaining lumps from the yolks, and set aside. Now, into another large bowl, add 700 milliliters of milk. Also add one half cup of granulated sugar. I'm using a 240 milliliter cup. Finally, add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Using a whisk, mix all the ingredients very well. Then add the beaten eggs and keep mixing all the ingredients very well for at least five minutes. This is the right consistency. You may now stop mixing. Once you've done that, transfer all this mixture to a pitcher, making sure to pass the mixture through a sieve. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. This process will make the step easier. Now pour this mixture into seven mini aluminum pie cups arranged in a baking pan that is large enough to fit them all. I'm using disposable mini pie cups with a capacity of 100 milliliters each. Then remove one of the cups from the baking pan and pour in enough water to fill half of the pan. Finally, take it to the oven, set at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for one hour. Baking time may vary depending on the power of your oven. While the mini flans are baking, let's make a caramel sauce. For this step, into a large skillet over low heat, add one cup of granulated sugar. And when the sugar starts to melt, stir with a spatula until fully melted. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. Then gradually add one half cup of water and keep stirring until it thickens and forms a caramel sauce. This is the right consistency. You may now stop stirring and remove from the heat. Once the mini flans have baked through, Remove from the oven and drain all the water left in the baking pan. Then let them cool until they reach room temperature and top each mini flan with one tablespoon of caramel sauce. That recipe is ready. You may now get one and enjoy it. I really hope you like this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.